Austin Rouser from the Department of Roads is on the line. And Austin, thanks so much for taking time to join me this afternoon. Sure, good morning. Um, how are the roads doing? What, can you, what are you hearing from your perspective? Well, what we're seeing right now is uh, the major streets that we've been focusing on, they're, they're coming together nicely. We're starting to get areas where there's just water on the roads. And, uh, we do have some of those wind roads that are left at certain locations, particularly in intersections and turn lanes and center lanes and things like that. But uh, for the most part, it appears like our major streets are coming together nicely. And this this snowstorm, this plan, as we had Omaha Mayor Gene Stothard um, talking with us just a few moments ago, this is a different plan this time around for this snowstorm. How do you think this plan compares to what you all have done in the past? Well, we were able to get some more resources from some other uh, departments within the city, which was very nice. And so that, that just has helped us out tremendously, particularly the help that we got from the Parks Department. I want to thank uh, Brooke Bench for giving us additional resources from the Parks Department. Uh, that, that's that been a tremendous help for us on major streets, just to have some, some extra bigger trucks that are out uh, running those major streets. Uh, that, that's been a huge help, and so uh, you know, I, I can't stress enough how much of a help that's been to have another department step up to the plate and, and really come in to help us out with the operation. Sure, Linda, helping hand, so to speak. So give us an idea, Austin, how many plows do you have out on the roads? We, you know, our typical number that we throw out there is about 100, uh, and so with the extra support that we've gotten in from the, the, the Parks Department, uh, you know, we're, we're at about 110 to 115 right now, so that's that's bolstered our force quite a bit. Uh, we also do have the private contractors that are in residential areas right now. They tend to bring about another 100 trucks approximately to the operation as well. Which is a fair number. And, you know, we're seeing some of the streets, we're beginning to see pavement. Some of the others, like Miranda Christian was just coming down Pacific, and it seemed to be still a little snow-packed in areas. Um, is there a plan on getting to those? I know you're going over them once. Are you going back over those same routes then again this afternoon? Absolutely. We will We will absolutely continue to run the major streets throughout the day today. I know we're in a bit of a lull right now with the weather, but sure. expect to see some more snowfall this afternoon. So we, we will continue to run those streets. Austin, how big of a deal is it for you? How big of a problem that blowing snow? Because we're seeing those wind gusts, 45 miles an hour, sustained winds, more than 30 miles per hour, blowing that snow just as soon as the trucks get it off the roads, blowing it right back on. How big of a problem is that for your guys? Uh, that can be a very big problem. Uh, like I say, when, we're, when we continue to run the streets, it's not as much of a problem. Uh, it's when we feel like we're done with them and have to keep coming back that's that's when it's more of a problem because we're not able to move on to the the other tiers in the operation um fortunately the snow this morning has been wet enough and heavy enough that even though we do have the strong winds it's not drifting as bad as it could it we're in a lighter snow uh we do still have some areas where drifting is a problem however but uh it's not as bad as it could be for sure sure and what about Wednesday morning? I mean, once you get this, the streets and roads clear, and then we always, we're always concerned about refreezing and then the potential for black ice that can be so treacherous and so dangerous for people. What can you tell us? What's the plan going into Wednesday morning? Well, going into Wednesday, we, we'll still have a lot of operation to do. Um, you know, even once we get uh, the lanes and everything cleared where people can drive the streets, there's a lot more that goes into it than that, uh, really. We'll have to come back, and there's a lot of cleanup that we do. Uh, particularly with intersections and and just making sure that we're pushing that snow all the way out of the street. So, uh, you know, we tend to come back and clean up curb lines and, and uh, clean up intersections, and we continue to do that uh, well after the storm. Uh, you know, we'll be in residential areas, and all that time that we're out doing that, we're spreading salt as well, so that salt would go down to, to help in those refree situations. Sure. And uh, we'll monitor those locations as best we can. All right, that is Austin Rouser, City Engineer, Department of Roads, joining us on the phone live. Austin, thanks so much. I know you're a very busy guy. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to give us a call. We certainly appreciate it. Sure, my pleasure. Thank All you. Right. Thank you so much.